we had this essay this is high priestess shodhara singh welcome viewer welcome for your june 2024 predictions this video covers the last week of june we are talking about june 23rd to june 30th so we have five decks ready for you the first one is going to be the general theme for the last week then we have the the health the wealth and then the relationships um and of course the general one comes before that but let me tell you what the central theme cards are going to be for you for the last week of june 2024 you've pulled out asclepius the card of silence and the card of perfection asclepius the greek god with the beautiful rod uh, of caduceus the two snakes so here we are talking about healing you will be able to heal others as well as yourself i would highly um advise that you focus on yourself it looks like you need to fix yourself you need to heal yourself you know um a lot of people ask me that when i talk about healing what do i mean by that i do not mean that you have a, you can have a physical injury but you are definitely going to be looking at taking care of your mind and spirit maybe you're burning out maybe uh, you're working too hard maybe you're not getting enough sleep maybe and people don't give well i don't know why people don't uh, realize uh, the importance of meditation and deep breathing it's very very important at some point or the other uh, people think oh you know when i become a senior citizen i'm going to do it or maybe it will be something i'll pick up on the holidays in a day if you just practice two inhales and one exhale a couple of times you will start feeling better already it becomes a part of your life so allow it so that's what i'm talking about here of course you will also have the ability to be there for somebody else and indirectly healing the person maybe you'll give them advice uh, maybe they, you know you can give them an alternative uh, practice an idea maybe a number and they'll be able to cure themselves right even that's a possibility the card of silence which says that uh, there used to be a beautiful saying called speak only when you're spoken to I don't see it being practiced by anybody whether it's a person selling hot dogs on the street or a politician everybody likes to speak nobody likes to listen but remember god gave us two ears and one mouth you see the logic behind it listen more talk less so here silence in a certain situation can indeed be golden you see this this used to be how time used to be kept a track of in the olden days so this is called an hourglass for those of you who don't know uh there might be a situation in the last week of june where you don't really have to open your mouth just be quiet sometimes silent support quietitude solitude is important let the person know that you are there for support but you don't need to open your mouth and speak because you might regret it later pay heed to this card it's an important one and don't get sucked into drama sometimes we like to speak and then you know later on you realize oh my god i shouldn't have said what i did perfection this card uh, is a two way sword two edged sword why is it a double edged sword you ask because uh you might you might well we all strive for perfection right but at some point you will have to give up because remember if you are looking for perfectionism if you are looking for uh, everything should be perfect even if you see this circle of uh, magical stones that we have none of the stones are equal even the shape is different the size is different how it looks is different everything is different right but together they they are a beautiful garland it's just beautiful so you need to believe in the grand scheme of things have faith that the universe has put this stone here for a purpose this stone here for a purpose that stone there for a purpose and make it work in your life otherwise giving too much of importance to details can make you uh you know a little uh, obsessive and uh, a little disorderly in your life right so work uh, into making things as orderly as possible but don't be uh, cruel to yourself or somebody else or fanatic about it all right let's begin with the general theme for the last week of june 2024 viewer you have pulled out uh, the 10 of cups the 5 of cups the queen of swords and the queen of swords again what is happening okay so 10 of cups we use this a lot in spell casting it's a beautiful card much to be grateful for so many good things are happening in your life in your personal life and uh, yet you are not expressing gratitude 
and that's where the actual problem is oh my god i have uh, such a beautiful house but if only i had this and i don't why are you comparing yourself with what you had dreamt for yourself are you comparing your life right now are you comparing your life with the neighbor are you comparing your life with someone you know because that 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 is normally the the the, the worst pitfalls okay the the usual the most common pitfalls is comparison another thing is something that you wanted that didn't get realized maybe you wanted two children but you got one maybe you wanted at least one child you didn't have any maybe you wanted a husband who was uh, earning more than you and that didn't happen maybe you wanted uh, to be married to somebody for life and this is you know you and you you're not married or you, this is not your first marriage so the moment you start comparison the moment you start keeping one thing and then regretting it this is what happens so and lack of gratitude will cause you to fall from your your current good position and make you regret even more because this is a low vibe this is a high vibe get it so instead of feeling bad for what you don't have change your perspective and be grateful for what you have and i promise you things will look better maybe not overnight maybe not even a week or a month's time but you will start seeing the changes and lo and behold out of sheer habit of practicing a high frequency a high vibrational frequency and a high vibe you are going to be inviting good things to come and more reasons to be grateful for right now two queen of swords which means the universe wants you to sit up and take notice so you could be a gemini or dealing with one don't go by the gender you could be a male also this card is also of divorce and widowhood so if you're looking for if you have you know uh, if you have a case in court then uh, or you could be dealing with a uh, divorcee or a widower or you could be one yourself this card also means that you are working towards something and that is making you swish your sword okay now the reason why you're doing that and the reason why you're sterner than what you are is because the entire responsibility of the of that particular task lies on your shoulders so you are being stern to the people you have delegated the responsibility to don't worry it they don't they don't think you've changed they don't think you've become like this they know that this is just a phase once that item is delivered once that task is done once the aim and goal has been achieved you will come back to your usual self so don't be too hard on yourself stay focused on your goal just don't go power crazy because power can also be heady right all right interesting general um uh, theme for the last week of june let's move to the health deck the health deck pulls out the two of cups twice right so that's two two of cups you have the fool card and you have the two of coins or the two of pentacles well now uh either you'll be getting into a you know either you'll be moving in with someone or getting married tying the knot getting engaged but there's definitely some kind of a romantic liaison that's about to happen and uh, since it's come twice it's definitely happening it does have the blessings of the angels uh having said that how does this affect your health um just the sheer companionship and the joy of being with someone and remember even hugging a person supposing uh you know um lord knows i'm obsessed with my children if i love my Uh, if i hug my daughter or my son um that that pure sheer maternal joy that i feel um it, it's incomparable I, i can't compare it with to anything else and she feels the same way why because it's just how god made us right so um here we are talking about many of the health issues that you are facing stress or whatever it is in your life that you are facing will get reduced just because there is somebody else who's there for you to take care of and you to take care of them okay so that's a it's a beautiful thing so please go ahead and go for it and that's what this card says don't overthink it am i doing the right thing is it the right time oh my god what if this what if that don't play the devil's advocate in your head and that usually happens because you're overthinking it the fool card it says jump into this because it's really good for you believe that the universe has your back because it does at all times um so go ahead for some of you i feel this could be the touching moment the eureka moment that oh my god that's exactly what's happening in in my life uh and for those of you who don't remember this is a general reading bless you uh two of coins or two of pentacles this is a card that says that uh, well it's a pure money card but in this sense it says that in the last week um health wise you will be working 
uh, trying to make money from several places could be in your investments could be your shares um, uh, stocks and you know mutual funds FDs and uh, whatnot uh, you might also be thinking about uh, if taking more work if you're a business person a sole proprietor partner whatever uh, but remember you will have an energy depletion issue so you will have to balance your energy levels out because this is a health stack here we are talking about you being careful about the energy because energy is directly related to your health how much energy do you have to spend means you need to rest a little bit more uh, do your deep breaths go go for your walk if you can pull in a workout then go ahead but you need to balance your health okay so if you run after money you'll you know it'll it'll start giving you sleepless nights overthinking constant social media etc all right let's do the wealth deck the most sought after deck for the last week nine of cups two of cups has come again queen of cups and the five of coins or the five of pentacles mama mia i swear this card has just it's just been coming non-stop all right um so a primary wish of yours will be fulfilled in terms of monies that's happening in the last week say you wanted a good a job that's coming your way you wanted a particular investor for your business that's coming your way grants by the bank loans granted um some money that will come through but there's definitely some good news in terms of money that you'll be uh receiving in the last week of june and that is um uh, that is something that was your primary wish and then over a period of time it probably was in the back burner but you'll be happy to know that it'll come true at least you'll get news about it good for those of you who are planning to tie that knot uh it's going to be monetarily very useful um well it's going to sound lousy but sometimes people get married to increase their businesses it happens in business houses they're like financial handshakes like they're called it's also possible that two partners you know meet each other like a Daniel Steele novel, fall in love and they expand their empire. It's also possible that uh, uh, because this is a wealth deck, right? So I, I, it, everything has to be interpreted in terms of money, you know. So monetarily, this unification that is happening of two people is going to be beneficial to you. So go ahead and go for it. Uh, this could also be a partnership, by the way. Queen of Cups. Uh, you could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or dealing with one. Here we are talking about. You are holding on to something, a bill or tender that's going to be passed, a loan that has to be granted by a bank or an investor, buying, selling, anything to do with money. You're holding on to that aim so tightly that you're getting obsessed with it. You need to focus on the process and trust the result to come in your favor and then find a way to keep yourself occupied mm -hmm. because this is something that you don't want to put yourself through because all this obsession is just letting you uh, is eating up on your energy and your time and your focus of course and that's all wrong instead you should be dividing your time into other things as well if you have put in the effort then just let it be okay it will come have the patience and keep your vibes high this is a card of poverty thinking so it looks like in the wealth aspect of your life you are still managing to say to yourself that I don't I can't afford this I don't have enough money for this this is too much for me you know uh, my this does, my budget doesn't permit it and these words are so sneaky that even if we are very very careful about how we speak to ourselves or how we speak out loud they tend to come into our heads maybe they won't reach your tongue but it will be there immediately like for example if somebody says hey uh, why are you buying uh, an x you know like say why are you buying a um, fiat uh, why you why aren't you buying a bmw or a Merc? straight away your mind sends a signal of say i can't afford it or say no it's way over my budget or say no no it's too expensive for me or no it's a luxury car i want a regular car before it reaches your tongue you should immediately say well um it's a great looking car no doubt but uh, i'd much rather go for a regular one so you see it's all about wordplay remember words spells spelling that's where the word comes from spells how you speak will decide who you are and what you become right similarly in terms of other things like uh well if you're not happy in your job why didn't you change it oh my god my boss is a jerk but still you know i have to be here because the market is really down and uh, i don't know if i apply for a job will i get it or not 
it's too much of a risk for me i have so many pending bills do you see what's happening even saying this and i don't even know who i'm speaking to except the person who's viewing this video straight away the vibes start falling down instead if you say you know what till i don't have something in my hand i don't think it's a good idea to go for something else until then let me see what's bugging my boss and let me see if i can just steer clear from what's bug uh, bugging him as far as i go because a lot of you come to me and say that you know my boss is bugged with me and i don't know why trust me we all know why we don't want to face it or it's something that we don't believe if the boss says you're not a good worker he may not be right but hey he may also be right right so this is a card that is completely under your control you don't have to put yourself through a poverty thinking having said that it's a very low vibe you need to get yourself out of it snap out, snap out of it find a way that works for you if not get in touch with us and let's see how we can make it work for you otherwise this one thing that's supposed to come your way will not come your way <coughs> all right uh, the last week of uh, uh, june 2024 20, from 23rd to 30th in relationships you have the nine of wands nine of wands interesting queen of swords king of wands and the seven of wands so you'll have a very creative relationship life i don't know what that means but for some of you but in general it means that uh, you will have to you will have to think of new ways to keep the interest alive okay um here we are talking about you practically exhausted it seems like in a relationship viewer you are the one who feels like you're putting in too much of effort but the party in front is in this could be your personal or your professional life and you feel like you're giving too much and getting practically nothing in return uh, and you might be experiencing a burnout in terms of, you know, I can't know, I don't know how long I'm going to be able to pull this out. Stop victimizing yourself. And I say that with the sternness of a good friend. Remember, if you want to change your life and you don't like where you are, the only person who can make that move is you, right? Therefore, what you need to do here is you need to either talk it out with the other party and uh, make it very clear that this is what's happening and as uncomfortable as this might be this is how i'm feeling and then see what happens if the person doesn't care then the relationship ain't worth it queen of swords well you could be a gemini or dealing with one it looks like uh, in this relationship with the, for some of you you know who are going through a situation there might be a divorce or widowhood or you might be dealing with somebody who's a divorce you're a widower or you might be one yourself but this card essentially in terms of relationship means that you are being a little more stricter and sterner than you are um, otherwise you're quite a chirpy and happy chatty cathy person but otherwise there is something going on in your mind because of which you you want to get this particular job done because of which you've been very stern and strict and that's all right because ultimately this will definitely reward you but don't give too much of thought as to oh my god i hope i'm not being too stern because i don't want people to think that i'm a crabby old person you're not okay King of Wands tells me it could be a Leo dealing with one. This card also means that you are, um, you're, you're right now quite, quite popular with your friends or people who come to you and they give you, uh, they tell you their bag of sorrows, they empty it out and then you give them advice and they follow it and they thank you and say, hey, you know what, I used your advice and it worked. That's beautiful. Thank you so much. So what happens between you and your mind? When you, why can't you practice what you preach? Figure out why you lack this confidence that you, in your own self and uh, you will be able to solve many of your issues that, you, that you're currently facing, right? Learn to take your own advice, learn to listen to your own gut, learn to be confident in your own skin and your own, own self, right? So have a good, better relationship with your, with your person, with your own self. That's what this card also means. And the six of wands, so in terms of relationships, it looks like you might have one someone over could be a romantic gesture could be uh, you know a professional gesture in terms of you winning over your boss he's my impressed with you he's mighty impressed with you or uh, you know um, winning over someone who was not maybe as impressed with you earlier as they are now right so all in all i think this last deck of relationships talks about uh, you putting in the effort and getting recognition and if you don't you need to talk it out have some faith in yourself and don't be too hard on yourself as long as the aim is derived all right interesting interesting month isn't it let me know how your month went get in touch with us if you need help you know where to find me until then love light and knowledge to you all i will see you in the month of july 
पियटस एसे एंड ओम सर्वे भवंतु सुखिना